We started the art space program in response to the STEM initiative that came out of the White House in 2008. Students in the U.S., their test scores had been dropping, specifically in the STEM fields, and there was some great concern in the education community, and so they created the STEM Alliance to boost achievement in science, technology, engineering, and math. And of course, the art community said, hey, <laughs> where are we in this? Because if you're really trying to produce inventors and innovators, um, that takes creativity and the tool to teach creativity is art. So the STEAM movement began. And so we jumped on board and created this program. In our STEAM program, we see our classrooms as creative laboratories, a place where students can innovate and problem solve in a structured environment where they're allowed to take risks based off their own creative initiative. So they are able to see a problem and then find their own solution for it. And within those laboratories, you'll see any number of solutions to the same problem. Design thinking, which is what we've identified as that process that artists and scientists both use. They ask a question, they imagine what a solution might be, they make a plan, to develop the solution, then they create it. And then when they're done, they look at it again, they analyze it and they improve it. And then they ask a new question. It's a circular process. And it's what connects what artists do in their studios and what scientists do in their laboratories. Getting through all those different stages of creation is tricky and requires a lot of practice. And through time spent practicing the art of creation and invention, they learn perseverance and the ability to keep going through challenges. Most importantly, I think it could spark a passion in a particular area. So it could be science, it could be engineering, it could be something totally unrelated, but you know, it's the ability to, to understand something, to be able to see it in action, to be able to problem solve, uh, be creative and innovative, which no matter what branch you're in of science or engineering or other areas, you need to have that creativeness, that ability to see a problem and who knows what it turns into, who, who knows who the next inventor is going to be or what problem they're going to solve or just how it might allow them to see the world in a different way.